Hello, good evening. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets, end of day's analysis on the uh, Tuesday, 3rd of January 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal. Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com and you can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, the um, economic numbers for the day, the close, in terms of Europe, we had the FTSE closing at 7177, uh, up 36 points, so 35 points. The DAX actually closing negative, minus 14 points, given the uh, stronger German inflation data, certainly hurting uh, a sentiment towards the close, given the fact that we did have jobless uh, numbers actually drop, and uh, obviously uh, stronger uh, economic data overall in the Eurozone, certainly helping uh, sentiment higher early on, until obviously the inflation data came out, and then we started to reverse. The French GAC closing at 4,900, the FTSE MIB close, closing more or less flat, and the uh, the actual um, stock 600 certainly closing higher as well uh, by 0.7%. Asian markets overnight, as we know, the Shanghai at 1%, uh, and uh, but the rally has started to fizzle in the US, which obviously fed through into the European markets. Now, let's see exactly where we stand in terms of the US. Let's just bring up the actual uh, US markets for you. Okay, so looking at the S&P 500 chart here, uh, easy topping tail being put in there. Okay, so again, topping tail, we had a pivot high of <coughs> 2264 until it was rejected. Okay, as you can see here, we failed to close the gap, though bear that in mind. We did actually hold FIB 75% before we started to reverse. Certainly something to take note of, okay. Uh, for now, we are putting in those bottoming tails, holding that previous resistance equal support for now. We'll see whether or not that can sustain itself. Ever since the uh, news with regards to Trump and uh, Mexico, uh, and of all, also oil prices as well, oil prices dropping almost two and a half dollars, and obviously the situation with regards to uh, the trade potential trade war concerns with regards to Mexico, Cuba, Latin American countries, China, and uh, North Korean situation. So it certainly is a, a number of. Uh, of uh, bearish uh, factors at play for the US markets, but it certainly seems to be ignoring that. Well, it certainly did at the start, hitting a pivot high of 22.64 before it reversed quite sharply, okay? Now, we are down almost 20 handles from the high, okay? Given the fact that we had a high of 22.64, we've had a pivot low of 22.45. So that's certainly down 20 handles from the high. It'll be interesting to see how the market unfolds. Now, the other factor as well is the US dollar. US dollar certainly hitting the uh, potential highs, uh, 2002 low for the euro as well 2002 high for the dollar so interesting interesting scenario at present let's just bring up the nasdaq as well if we have that yes we do okay to zoom into the nasdaq for you so you can certainly see we're holding that bearish engulfing candle okay so you're holding the bearish engulfing candle on the daily chart on the nasdaq 60 minute chart on the nasdaq certainly holding resistance at third to 49.26 and still does actually remain weak so it'll be interesting to see how the market closes we did have stronger economic data on the u.s though um, towards the uh, towards the session well certainly towards the start of the u.s session so that certainly did help the uh, u.s indices high until they started to sell off quite sharply now let's see exactly where the european uh, indices are actually uh, what position they're in the daily chart of the s p 350 certainly indicating resistance certainly looking for a potential move lower we certainly have a topping tail that's in that's generally reminiscent of a potential market reversal or a top so certainly keep an eye out for that fortunately don't have volume here we'll certainly look at the next one for volume just bear with me okay so get rid of volume here so certainly a topping tail on the s p 350 uh, german dax certainly a double top intraday okay so now looking for a lower high bear that in mind on the german dax looking for a lower high also a topping tail here so certainly being rejected okay we're going over to the daily chart and again looking to reject especially at gap fill resistance so as soon as we close the gap we start to reject and start to move lower so certainly indicating weakness on the german dax going forward the mdax 50 daily chart certainly has broken out broken higher okay certainly is in bullish territory for the mdax 50 so just bear that in mind the tech all share certainly finding resistance as well on the horizontal channel okay and um, so again indicating weakness bring up the cac min and small certainly is in no man's land this certainly is, has pushed new highs okay whether or not we, we certainly uh, pause here 
certainly is debatable, but that's the situation that we find ourselves in. The CAC at the present certainly is indicating a potential H&S formation, looking for a potential uh, move lower, okay? So again, looking for further weakness there, looking for that uh, 480 potential gap to be closed, okay? So looking for gap fill there. Okay, now in terms of the FTSE 100, let's just bring that up for you. Also a double top, and now looking to potentially close a gap below. So again, looking for a risk aversion trade here. 60 minute chart bull flag certainly is consolidating but certainly hasn't played out yet the daily chart has broken out so is this a breakout or a fake out that's the question that we ask ourselves and that's basically where we are where we stand at present so again is it a breakout or is it a fake out and that's the question that we are asking it'd be interesting to see how the market obviously unfolds and how we actually come to that actual conclusion or the answer itself so keep an eye on there. In terms of oil, certainly has started to put in a bearish engulfing candle, rejecting the potential high at 55. Uh, I think we hit a pivot high at 55.2. Horizontal resistance certainly kicking in here and starting to reverse quite sharply. So whether a, a reversal as sharp as that in oil certainly doesn't bode well for risk going forward. So it'll be interesting to see how markets obviously interpret that. Okay, again, all eyes on the S&P 500. Do we actually go lower and close the gap? Or do we actually maintain and hold this gap? That's the question, okay? So again, it'll be interesting to see how markets unfold. Okay, folks, I think that's a wrap. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.